Hello, today I'm trying out my new professional um, mandolin slicer. I've been wanting one of these for quite a while. I'm not a fan of slicing onions and vegetables, so this is going to be a real treat for me. Now, I used to work in catering and food service for 13 years, and there's a lady who used to make beautiful uh, trays of uh, vegetables, and she used to also prep deli trays. She would bring her own personal mandolin into work and keep it there for slicing large quantities of tomatoes and I thought that was brilliant and um, I don't know why it's taken me this long to buy one. I no longer work in food service um, but something like this is really handy around the home and um, to clean it I used a, a bottle brush to scrub all the blades and that way my hands wouldn't come in contact with the blade or you can use a safety glove. I was reading the directions that come with it. They're very thorough. It recommends using a, a cleaning glove and do not put it in the dishwasher because the parts are not meant to withstand the high heat of a dis dishwasher. Just wash it with mild soapy water. You can um, submerge it in the sink but just keep your hands away from the blades. They're very very sharp. Um, be very careful and if you have any stains like beet juice or carrots you can use a mixture of vinegar and lemon juice or one quarter cup of bleach to one cup of water to clean um, I just use since it's fresh out of the box I just spent about five ten minutes scrubbing every little part with some soapy water and rinsed it really well and I've got an onion and a zucchini and some little cucumbers to slice up so I'm going to give it a try and I'm really excited about it. So um, to secure the vegetable, there's these little um, blades and you press down and lock it in. Now I was also looking at how you change the, these blades out and you slide it out and everything's marked on here so you could tell um, 1.5 millimeter blade. There's a chart right on the box that tells you those are for thin slices. The 2.5 millimeter blade is for medium slices and the 3.5 millimeter is for thick slices and then you can use a 3.5 millimeter julienne slicer or mincing slicer and it gives you examples on the box of what that looks like and some of the ideas that they give you are to slice up potatoes or veggie chips um, french fries fruit and vegetable slices uh, for salads or if you're doing water infused juices or you could do sliced up cheeses, fruits, and veggie snacks. Or you could also shred your own cabbage for coleslaw, sauerkraut, and tacos. And um, slice up onions for burgers and onion rings. So uh, it gives you so many ideas just on the box. And it also labels all the parts for you. So you may want to take a really good look at that before you recycle the box. And it comes with a blade storage caddy. And this is where you safely keep all of your very sharp blades. Um, as you can see the teeth are very very sharp so you want to store it safely these are all the different cool things you can store and then um, the actual stainless steel blade is in here and depending on what you pick for the the width it'll create your slices so I'm going to try just for the first time I'm going to try one of these um, blades that will julienne strip I thought this looked really cool. So to put it in, you just slide it in here and the little circle pops up. So let's give it a whirl with a zucchini and see what happens. So Put your hands here to keep them safe. And you put it on a flat surface. I have it on a cutting board, but I probably don't need it to be on a cutting board. <clears throat> if I put a little bowl underneath, that's good enough. Oh, look at this. I have Julian strip slices. How cool is that? Okay, I'm gonna try the other blade now. The one with lots and lots of little teeth. Slide it in. And get my zucchini back. <clears throat> Excuse me.
Okay, now this is really, really thin little slices. Look at that. Very cool. Tiny little thin slices. Okay, now I'm going to try a cucumber. A little baby cucumber. Once you get the hang of this, and practice with it, it gets a little bit easier. <laughs> The little tiny shreds of julienne. You can make some really cool fruit trays and salads with this. As you can see, I've got so much here. Very nice. I'm gonna try my onion now. This is the craziest part is onion. I don't like slicing onions, nor do I like slicing tomatoes. So I'm going to pick, um, let's go with a thin blade. So I want really thin onions. Let's go with the 1.5 millimeter blade. Okay, here we go, Onion. It's you and me. Check that out. It just grabs right onto the onion. That's the best part of this whole thing is the onion slicing for me. In fact, I'm going to set a little plate underneath it just for the onions. Clear out all these other vegetables that I just cooked, did up. Okay, here we go. Here's my plate. I'm ready to tackle this onion. Oh, this is the greatest thing ever. Check this out. Sliced thin onions, super thin. I see that the um, little holder grabs each side. And you press down on the little handle on the top, and your onions get sliced. Ah, cool. Okay, so the end piece is left, and I have a plate full of very thin sliced onions. This would have taken me forever to do on my own. Love this. Okay, this is just staying on my counter. I know it folds up flat like this, but I'm just keeping this on my counter and there's gonna be a lot more slicing and dicing going on at my house. Very cool, I'm really happy. I would never, with a knife, have been able to slice onions this paper thin. Look how thin this is. This is perfect for burgers because you just want a tiny little thin bit of onions. You don't want like a giant slab of onions on your burger. Love it, cool, thumbs up.